Okay, so we've been looking at Linux distributions from different parts of the world. And trying to find one in Japan was not as easy as you might think. So the one I eventually found was Miracle Linux. And Miracle Linux is essentially, it's also a Red Hat based distribution or RHEL based distribution. And a long time ago uh, was a part basically called Asian Nux. But uh, ever since then, it's essentially that was defunct and now it's a purely Miracle Linux, although the Asian Nux product name still exists. Um, by the looks of this, of course, this looks like it's uh, built by a company called Cybertrust Japan. And, well, couldn't get too much info really on the website, but guess what? We're going to take a look at it today. So I've downloaded the uh, ISO installer, Miracle Linux 9.2, which I'm guessing is based on RHEL 9.2. And uh, we're going to install this. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do here is you'll see here their software solution. Uh, they've got server with a GUI. So I'm actually going to leave that as the default. Uh, automatic partitioning, that's fine. I'm just going to disable KDump. Uh, security profile. If we want, wanted to harden the system, we could. But... Um, we're not going to apply any security policies here today. Uh, local source, that's fine. Root password. Uh, we'll just uh, create an account. So I'll create an account here. Make this user part of root. But admin. We're technically correct. Add them to the wheel group. And administrate gosh will be created. We're not going to give uh, the root account a password, so we won't have a root account then. And we're just going to begin the installation. As you can see, it uses ext4 by default. And we'll let this load and we'll take a look when it's moved uh, further down the line. Okay, this portion is completed. Let's reboot the system. Okay, so let's accept the license. And go done. And finish the config. And out of the box, that holds pretty much a standard RHEL default GNOME interface uh, going on here. You know, pretty, pretty bare bones, pretty standard out of the box, really. Um, if we look at the setting side, let's do the resolution. Apply. If we go down to the about portion, you'll see here we're using no um, 40.4 Wayland KVM. Right, pretty, pretty standard with Miracle Linux over there. So I'm just gonna close that. Uh going through the activities here. Uh really out of the box, really bare bones. Uh you know. Again, that is what we chose, just uh, choosing server with a GUI. We've only really used just over 4.3 gigs of storage. And our memory is 1.5 gigs, a little hefty. That is GNOME interface. And low CPU usage. Right, let's look at the uh, software store. Okay, looking at the software repos, you can see they have AppStream, BaseOS, Extras, High Availability, Power Tools, Resilient Storage. All of these options are available, and they do have uh, some OS updates here uh, to take on to some normal newer versions. Interesting here, interestingly, though, they do have multimedia codecs pre-installed. And if we were to look at uh, Stuff, so let's say work, and let's say we wanted to add extensions, right? You can see here just Miracle Linux, click install. That was quick. Click open, and we have the extensions uh, just pre installed. So I can just do desktop icons, 
desktop icons is there. An applications menu if I wanted one, if we wanted one. I am interested though in what the extras would give us. So I'll enable the extras repo, the power tools and the high availability. I'm going to close that. And I guess we'll let it install some updates in the meantime. Okay, so we've not updated Miracle Linux. And that went quite smoothly without no issues, to be completely honest. Which is always great. You know, when something pretty much almost seamlessly works uh, out of the box. Okay, so new version of Firefox. Uh, different repos and st uh, st st still. Uh... Okay, and of course we have uh, different items of software still available. So, you know, so a distro like this, you know, you would probably go and add backpacks or something for additional bits of software or new bits of software. But it's very interesting who's this actually for. I I can understand in Japan it's used and you know that's that's fantastic and let's be honest, there's still a lot of good uh, stuff around the rail base. However, in out of japan would you use this distro why would you use this distro you know there's nothing wrong with it um but it does look to be pretty much just a another rail rebuild to be completely honest and when you have competitions such as alma oracle and Rocky, uh, you know, something like this is a little bit hard to maybe convince people, especially since this isn't necessarily well known outside of uh, the certain parts of uh, the world. But alas, folks, um, you know, let me know what you think. Do you use this? Do you know anyone who does use this? Would you be interested in using this? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And bye for now.